What's going on guys? My name is Josh Selich. I am the BJJ Strength Coach and I'm here to talk to you guys today about the main differences between one of my favorite squat exercises, the Zercher Squat and the Front Squat. Now, they're both great exercises. I'm not going to say that one exercise is going to be better than the other, but I did get a question from my man Eric. He's prepping for a powerlifting meet here pretty soon, so Eric, good luck on your upcoming powerlifting meet. But he was asking about, uh, basically he knows that they're both beneficial, but what makes them different? Why would we pick the Zercher squat in some instances over the front squat and vice versa? Now it's important to look at when we're looking at, at any type of squat, I'm just happy you guys are squatting. Every jiu-jitsu athlete, every wrestling athlete should be doing some form of squatting. So you're already in the right place by uh, starting out with um, just getting some squats in. Now what we need to look at though is everything else that's involved with the Zercher squat and the front squat. They look very, very, very different. The Zercher squat, you're resting the barbell or the axle bar or whatever implement you're using, you're resting it in the crooks of your elbows. You have a double underhook position on the barbell. With a front squat, you're going to be holding it in the front rack position. Those are two very different positions that lead to a lot of other differences in your positioning in those two movements. Now, if you have poor mobility, getting into a front, front rack position for a front squat may be really difficult and it may be really uncomfortable and you may not be able to front squat that much weight because you just, your elbows, your shoulders, your wrists, they just can't handle that much load in that front rack position. So ideally as a coach when I would pick for an athlete whether they're going to do Zercher squats or they're going to do front squats, a lot of the times it just comes down to okay how is their shoulder mobility, how is their elbow mobility, can they get into this front rack position comfortably in a way that we could actually load up uh, the weight that they're going to use for this exercise so that they can get a strength stimulus from it. Sometimes they can, and if they can, great. Sometimes they can't. A lot of times it's just easier to get double underhooks on the bar and go to town on that. Now, that is for the upper body. What the lower, what the torso is doing in the lower body is actually going to be a little bit different because the bar is shifting from being above our shoulders in front of our body to below our shoulders and in front of our body. On a front squat, you'll notice that in the video here that the the torso angle of my body is very vertical on a front squat. My chest stays up the entire time. It's almost like only my lower body is moving and my upper body just stays put like this. My hips, uh, I push my hips back a little bit but I'm really driving my knees out and trying to drop my hips straight down. My knees will travel forward. Um, over my toes quite a bit and that's just the nature of the front squat. If you push your butt back really far on the front squat and try to keep a vertical shin, you're more than likely going to end up having to dump the bar because it's going to fall off your front rack position. So to, you have to maintain an incredibly upright torso to have a proper front squat. Now when it comes to the Zercher squat, you'll notice that my torso position in the video is a little bit lower. So instead of being almost straight up and down. I'm kinda, my chest is dropped a little bit. My shins are a little bit more vertical. I've pushed my butt back quite a bit. And now I'm still keeping my chest up, don't get me wrong. I'm not rounding my upper back and caving forward and, and having that dog crap position that we've all seen before. I'm not, I'm working really hard to stay in proper position. Now the two differences in those movements is that the front squat is gonna load up my quads a lot more. When I keep my torso very tall, very upright, I push my butt back a little bit, but I'm really driving my knees out and driving my knees forward, that is gonna put a lot of load on my quads, which is great for getting strong. It, you know, quads are a big important muscle that need to be strong for all grappling sports. That being said, the Zercher squat, we are pushing our butt back much farther, our, sh our shin angle or our shank angle, our shin and ankle angle is going to be much more vertical and that's going to load up the glutes and the hamstrings a lot more. Now, the posterior chain is very, very, very important. The posterior chain is the center for just about every athletic movement. You can't be strong if your posterior chain is weak. And so Zercher squats are a great exercise 
to focus on training the posterior chain. Now, what's also great about Zerto squats is that it's a pretty simple exercise to translate over into box squats. If somebody's never squatted before, a lot of times I'll just have them try a Zerto box squat. It's very, very, very simple. They can keep all the same uh, position that they would on a normal Zerto squat, and then they would just you know sit to a box. We've talked about box squats a lot before, so I don't need to dive into it now. A front squat, it's it's not that you can't do front squats to a box, but it is difficult and it does, it's, uh, it's just not as conducive for training the posterior chain like a traditional box squat or a Zercher box squat would. And that's just simply because the front squat position, you're in that front rack position, it's, it's loaded on your shoulders, it's loaded in front of your body, which requires a lot of your quads to take on the load. It's a, uh, the front squat box squat is a excellent bodybuilding exercise. It's a pretty brutal bodybuilding exercise if you really want to grow and get a lot of hypertrophy in your quads. Uh, but when it comes to athletics, when it comes to strength training, specifically for wrestling and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the Zercher box squat and the Zercher squat are going to be excellent exercises for training your posterior your chain, your hamstrings, your glutes, your low back. The front squat is going to be a great exercise for training your quads, practicing your mobility, st strengthening your upper back, which is something we should get into. Both exercises really force your upper back, all this meat right in here, really force your upper back to stay nice and tall, locked in tight and, and in good position. Now what this does is when you isometrically train your upper back when you're doing front squats, zercher squats, zercher box squats, uh, front rack carries, Zercher carries, what that does is that it helps you lock in all the muscles that run up and down the upper half of your spine. You get those strong in resisting movement. Now when we're wrestling, we don't want to be moved around very often. You know, we don't want somebody to, to snap us down and pull us out of position. When we're in somebody's clothes guard, we don't want them to grab collar sleeves and break down our posture and then start controlling our head and you know isolating arms and things like that. We want our chest to be up, we want our upper back to be locked in tight, we want to post in on their belt line or post in on their hips. We want to keep that chest up in a wrestling position. We can still bend our torso down but we don't want to have a rounded over back position like this. When it comes to we're shooting in and getting in on the leg. We don't want to have a rounded upper back. We want to have a nice and tall, strong upper back. Keeping that chest up, switching to a double, cracking down on that single, whatever your preferred takedown is. Having a strong upper back is so important for grappling sports that front squats and zercher squats are one of the best ways to train that upper back in an isometric way. Now when it comes to picking what exercise you should do, yes. That's my answer. Should, should you do front squats or zercher squats? Yes. Do both. Find a way to improve your mobility in your front rack position so that you can get to the point where you can do front squats. Train your zercher squats. Train them heavy. Do box squats. Train zercher squats heavy. All in the name of keeping good form, good technique, making sure you're not going to get injured, making sure that you're not uh, overreaching by any sense of the imagination and having that like that you know question mark back position that we've all seen before they're great exercises I'm not gonna say one exercise is better than the other because frankly they serve different purposes and they do different things and I'm a huge fan of both of those so I hope you guys try the Zercher squat and the front squat out if you guys have questions about them just comment below this video and I'll be sure to answer those for you and I'll catch you guys later peace